Hello everyone. I'm going to, to be working on one of my little ovals, my little MDF ovals today, which I've taped off on the back and I've gessoed and sanded down. So it's all prepped and ready to go. And I stand it on these yogurt pots, which have a nice wide base to keep it nice and stable so it doesn't tip over. So I'm going to do three little flip cup pours today. Um, in these teeny weeny little shot glasses and I'm hoping I've got enough white paint because I haven't mixed any more paint so if I haven't got enough white paint in here then I'll have to pause the video and make some more up but I'm really hoping that I can squeeze enough out of this bottle so fingers crossed so this is my Montmartre paint um, and I've mixed it six with my um, PVA bond as my pouring medium, 60% PVA bond, 40% water. I'm just drain them bits out. And I've been getting some really good results with this. So I haven't tried this method with it yet, with this little, with the flip cups. So I'm hoping it's going to work out nicely. I'll just cover this, just speed this part up. So that's that. I had enough paint to cover it and I've given it a quick torch. Now I'm just going to move it to one side while I mix my paints. So I'll just put that there. So I'm just going to work in these little shot glasses. bit of paper towel over that bit so I don't get all stuck to it so my shot glasses my three shot glasses and the colors I'm going to use are all Montmartre these three colors which are the brilliant red turquoise and the black and then I'm going to use my gorgeous gold and it's just so beautiful. And this is my Deco Art Metallics 24 karat gold. And it is just beautiful, this gold. Let me just show you how gorgeous that looks. I just love it. So that's what I'm going to use today. So put that over there out of the way. Now, I'm just going to put a bit of red just keeping it really really quite simple a bit of turquoise and I know that might blend and give it a bit of purple but I really don't mind black so these are all mixed with my pouring medium of the PVA bond so 60% PVA bond 40% water apart from this one my gold I mix with the Australian flood float on that one so this is not mixed with the PVA bond at all just got the flood flow troll and I, all I did was put a bit in a bit of paint in my little tub and mixed it so I got the consistency I wanted with the flood flow troll and that's all there is in there so we're going to put a bit of that in And I'm going to do that layer again. So we're going to go red. Turquoise. And black. A 
and then the gold on top of that. How gorgeous and rich that is. I just love that gold. And that's our layering done. Let's put that over there out of the way so I don't knock it over my precious gold. Get all these out of the way. Just give that another quick torch, get as many of the bubbles out as we can. And I want to make sure my yoghurt pot is underneath this end because I'm going to flip on this end. Ooh. Ooh. Careful. <laughs> And one there. So just let them come down a little bit in their pots. And then I'm going to take my centre one and just lift it slightly as I drag it over the top. There. And then the same with these two. Quick torch. And then I'm going to tilt that straight up there. We've already got some nice cells coming. Looking pretty. I haven't got much red coming through at the moment. Just a little bit over this side, but hopefully as we open it up, I'll get a bit more of that coming through. Bring it back to the centre. Just to the edge. I don't want to take it over. Although I have got quite a bit of gold there. So I could just take that off a little bit. Back again. It's looking very rich. To the centre. And I want to come down this bottom side here. Of this bit here. I just love this deco art 
24 karat gold. It's so beautiful. It does tend to take over. So you do have to be careful with it. But I do like my gold in my painting. So This is looking beautiful down here. Let's see how much of that we'll keep. Just want to off the edges. Because I'd like to stretch this side out a bit more, really. Hope we we'll get those... Um, some of those other lovely colours through. Because I really wanted some more um, of the red and turquoise to come through. So we'll see what we can do. Let's take that off that edge there. And then back across. So usually when I do a flat board, I put a piece of duct tape underneath it, give me a little tab to hold on to, and I didn't do it with this one. And it makes it so much easier if you do. So, oh, that is looking gorgeous. Oh, so I should have, because other, usually you've got the, the push pins or the frame to hold on to, but with the flat board, you don't have that. Oh, that does look so pretty. Very, very dark and moody, I like it. The rivers of, of the white running through it. I'll take it back down this way a little bit. See, I just love how this has worked here, how the, the gold has popped through and the red is showing. I like that. We've got some more of the red coming through here and a little bit has popped up there. We'll give it a torch because I think some of that might start showing through. I just missed that little bit there. I'll touch that up afterwards. Bring it down so you're in camera a bit better. Don't want to knock it off my yogurt pots. Let me just make sure they're centered. Because I'm so clumsy. I'm so flipping clumsy. <laughs> Hence nearly knocking it over when I just uh, was doing the flips. Right, we'll give that a torch. and see what happens, if anything. I just want to move it back down this way. I've still got some movement in there. So I've got some bit of the turquoise cells coming through there. I 
make sure I put it back on the cartons. So I've only given it about 10 minutes, but there are some cells coming through. They're not very big. I don't know if there's going to be any movement to it, so I'm just going to try and see. Ew, it's got lots of paint on it. I'm just going to try to see if there is any movement that will just stretch those out a little bit. I don't think there's a lot. I think there's going to be a lot of movement. But we'll give it a little go and try not to drop it. <laughs> doesn't seem to be moving very much at all, really. No, it's not really moving. I would have liked to open up this a bit because I can see that the turquoise is there and I would have liked that to open up. I've probably got my paints a little bit thick. So next time I do this, I shall... Just make them a bit thinner. Opening up a wee bit, getting, but I don't think there's going to be enough movement for them to stretch very far. So I'll we'll take it back that way. I do like how this white is pushing through here. It gives it a bit of depth there, and I, I do like that. So I'm trying to put it back. So it doesn't fall over on me. And I'll bring you down for a close-up. So here's the close-up of it. And I really do like it, but I would have liked some more of the turquoise to come through. See, this is beautiful around here. And look at those, the beautiful turquoise cells. And see, so that's what I mean, the, can you see the purple? That's from the red and the, the turquoise mixing together, which I knew would come, I knew I'd get the purple and I quite like it. So I'm happy with that. But you can see the turquoise there trying to push through. So I would have liked more of that to come through. But I've got my paints a little bit thick. So I need to thin my paints down a bit. And then that will hopefully solve that problem. But I love this area. I think it looks beautiful. It just gives that depth to it, doesn't it? Which I really like. I'm sorry my light's a bit glary. See, there's some turquoise. It just looks so pretty. So I will keep it because I do like it. I like I like most of it. There's just little bits that I don't like. I love that bit there. There's some really pretty elements in there that I love. And overall, I think it's a really, really pretty piece. You see these little bits of red. It's not focusing there. Trying to just push through here. Um, and if I got my paint a bit thinner, they would have pushed through. But I really like it. And oops, get my finger over the lens there. And I think it would be better that way on, possibly. We'll see what it's like when it dries. So if you've enjoyed this video, please give a thumbs up, click the like button and subscribe to my channel. Click the little bell notification so you get notified when I bring out new videos. 
and hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. So it's the next day and this has all dried beautifully. So I'm really pleased with how it's turned out and it didn't move at all. It just dried as it was, which I'm really pleased about. I think it's dried beautifully. And I think it should go this way up with this part at the bottom because to me, it, it feels like a volcano erupting and crashing down into the sea. And this is as the volcanic rocks hit the sea. That's how I see it. My other people might see it differently, I'm sure. There'll be lots of different things in there that we can see. But I like that. I think it looks lovely. And I'm really, really pleased with the way it's dried. So all the edges look lovely. And the back's all nice and clean because it, that's just all the tape. So when I've um, varnished it, I can just, or resin or whatever I decide to do, I can just take all that backing off and it's all nice and clean. So that's that one. I hope you like it and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye for now.